Howdy, everybody. Steve here, KM9G. Today, we're going to play with Meshtastic. We're going to do it the easy way, though, so we're not going to use one of these, but we will talk about it a little bit. The easy way, the quick way to get you from not having Meshtastic to having a working Meshtastic device in your hand is to follow the link in the description below and get you one of these awesome-looking radios from Muzi.works. Check out how cool this 3D-printed case is. Multiple colors. Room for the screen, room for the battery. You can get it with an upgraded antenna or you can get it with the stubby little antenna. Comes fully assembled and ready to use. And that's what we like when we're just getting started. We wanna get started the easy way. Real quick about the way these mesh-tastic devices work. There is a screen that shows you the messages. It is an OLED screen, so it is blue. You get any color blue you want. It's technically cyan if you wanna split hairs. And there is a button here to scroll through the messages. And then there is a reset button here. And I stuck a keychain on mine and a little carabiner clip on it so I could hang it from my belt. If it is hanging down like this, you're gonna have pretty close to vertical polarization. And if it is standing up like this, you're gonna have pretty close to vert vertical polarization. That's gonna give you the best signal strength to your nearby audience compared to if you had it horizontally, because there is a difference in signal strength between vertical and horizontal polarization. Again, this is a quick start guide, so we're not going too deep into the woods on that kind of thing. We are going to use a very high quality USB-C cable in order to get our device connected. And there will be a link in the description down below for a high quality USB-C to USB-A cable, so you won't even need the adapter. But chances are you already have one of these cables around. If you plug this thing in and it does not work for you out of the gate, you're probably using a bad, USB-C cable, one that only does power and doesn't do data or doesn't do the right kind of data. So find yourself a, a new USB cable or grab the one from the link in the description below so that way you have a good data cable and you'll be good to go. So we need to get our Raspberry Pi up and on the screen for y'all. These Muzi.works radios are pretty sexy. They come in a variety of colors, black, purple, red. I've even seen desert tan coyote color. And this is the H1. There is an H2 version of this, and it's just a difference in case shape. So get whichever one y'all like best. This is the one I have. So it's the one I like best, but I'll probably get another one also because, you know, radio is an addiction. All the radios all the time. This is my Raspberry Pi desktop. So I'm taking my USB-C cable and I am plugging it into my Meshtastic radio. Next up, we need to use a Chromium-based browser. So on your machine, you want to use Brave or Chrome or Chromium or Edge. Those are all the Chrome-based browsers, Chromium-based browsers currently. Don't use Firefox for this. It won't work. And that's because Chromium-based browsers have the serial port communications built in and Firefox doesn't as of the time of this recording. Maybe they'll catch up. Inside of our browser, we want to go to flasher.meshtastic. Org. And inside of your Muzi.works radio is a Heltec V3 board. And you can tell it's the V3 board by opening up the case and looking over here by the U.FL connector. And you will see where that little black box says V3. And if you look underneath of the U.FL connector, it says V3.1. So technically it's a Heltec V3 V3.1, but we're splitting hairs here. It's a V3. That's all that really matters. Under the first section of the flasher.meshtastic.org website, you want to choose a select target device and pick Heltec V3. Okay. Under your middle choice, it's kind of like ABC or one, two, three going across the screen. You want to select your firmware version. There are two different sets. There is the stable and there's the alpha. And since we're new at this and we just want to do a quick start, we want to go with the latest stable version because we don't know any better right now. And then you get to learning and then you might know something better and you might want to try out a different version of the firmware. And then from there we pick flash and it is going to tell me all of the firmware enhancements and bug fixes. And since I don't know what the previous firmware looked like, I don't know what any of these enhancements are, but I can read along and there are some pretty cool things in here that are happening might spark my interest, my curiosity to do something else. And then there are bug fixes. And then it shows some of the new contributors and it shows a link to the full change log. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the continue button and that'll pop up a little box for us here. I'm gonna choose the baud rate of 115, 200. It says 115, 200 is slower, but can be more reliable for low quality connections. I'm not really worried about speed right now as much as I'm worried about just getting it on there. So I'm not gonna mess with these settings. You can change these settings if you want. Down here, there is this full erase and install choice. 
And if you are brand new to this, then there's nothing to fear by erasing anything because there's nothing there. And if you have started using this before and maybe you've made some changes to your radio that you want to keep, you might not want to do a full erase. Or if you've made some changes to your radio that have messed things up, you might want to just go ahead and do the full erase. I'm going to do the full erase and install to get the full erase and install experience. And after that, I'm going to hit this erase flash and install button, which kind of looks more like a dialog box header than a button, but it's a button. And then it's going to pop up and ask me which port I want. And I happen to have two different USB to serial devices in here, but I know this is the CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. So since it gave me the name, it makes it really easy. The other one is a FTDI chip that I'm using for playing with some other radio devices. But right now I want the CP2102. Connect. And we found it and we're doing it. And there is nothing on the screen on the radio. We finished the app portion. Now we're doing the OTA portion. This must be a smaller file. It's going quicker. Still nothing on the radio screen. Now the file system partition, and she's doing a bunch of stuff, and we've got some stuff on the screen. So next up, we need to launch our client and get connected. And that's how easy it is to get the flash on there. There are three parts, and it just takes some time and some patience to let the machine do its trick. Go get yourself another cup of coffee or something along those lines and come back when she's done. And that's what your screen looks like after you get it all done. It says go on to your Android, iOS, or other way of getting it done and get it done. We're going to jump onto the iOS app on your iPhone or Apple Silicon based MacBook Macintosh computer, you can run the app store and you can find the Meshtastic app. You can also find this on Android in the Play Store. I have an update for my iOS version. So I'm going to hit update and then I'm going to hit open. And then on my Meshtastic radio screen, it has the name of the radio, which is Meshtastic underscore eight A three four. Your name will be different. So just look on the screen of your radio and you'll see it. And you can see that I have this here to choose from. I'm going to choose it. It's going to try and connect, communicate. It wants a passcode on the screen. It will give you the passcode. This passcode will be different for you when you do yours, 529627. So don't feel like you could be stealing my passcode and connecting to my device. You'd have to be within 30 feet of me. And if you are, that's kind of scary. And we're done. Set Laura region. And I'm going to pick United States because I'm in the United States. And now you get to have all the fun of playing around with Meshtastic. So in here, you can play with the different channels that you see. And you can send messages back and forth. So if I want to send a message on the primary channel, I just type in my message and I hit send. And it's not going to be acknowledged because there isn't anybody else in my area right now to acknowledge the message. And our radio currently says long fast, no GPS, and the battery status indicator. It looks like there are two little dots down here at the bottom, meaning that there is another message there. So I'm going to hit the other message button and there you go. And that's pretty much all you can do from this. Everything else is done from that app that I showed you. If you are using a Windows computer or a Mac OS computer, you won't be as lucky as having those drivers already installed. There will be a link for the Establish Serial Connections webpage in the description down below as well. And there are instructions on that page for Mac OS about how to download and install the driver and for Windows about how to download and install the driver. And once you get the driver downloaded and installed, the rest of the procedure is exactly the same. So there is your quick and easy fast start guide to getting you from zero to hero on Meshtastic. There is a link in the description down below for the Muzi.works super sexy small radio with the upgraded antenna or not as you see fit. Or you can get the H2 version, which is just a little bit different of sexy, not not any better or any worse. It's different. They're just, they're, they're both good. They're both. I love all my children. I love all my radios. Hopefully I will see you out on the airwaves. And like I said, be sure you are subscribed for when we build the solar repeater next. There's a video right over here. I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.